Hello guys, uh, now I'm going to tie uh, one of those uh, flies that's almost always available on water. It's color like dark red with nice contrasting ribs. And I'm also going to show you how to use this cheap super glue instead of expensive UV glues. And uh, to achieve the same if not better effect. So for the start we are going to use body quilt by hand and it's BQ22 as you can see that's going to be our basic body material now for the ribbing part it's cream small floss poly floss by Textreme and tailing material is going to be one of the best coquetillons so I'm going to start my fly with this body quilt material and I'm just going to leave a small room to tie in uh, wings and legs because this one is going to have legs uh, this is one of the let's say traditional flies on Balkans uh, many people would say that this is one of the best mayfly imitations for them and you can tie it in like various sizes of course uh, for the tail I'm going to attach the tail first I'm using just like four maybe five uh, strands of uh, Comte de Leon and I like it longer but like the hook shank length is also fine so just catch this material first and then uh, catch some floss here and just let me cut a piece of floss now <coughs> catch the floss as well and just continue in touching turns creating nice and smooth underbody because later when you varnish this it's very important that your body is smooth uh, otherwise you, those bumps are going to be uh, very difficult it's gonna make uh, they're gonna make hard time for you when you're tying in ribs uh, because ribs will just slip from these bumps and it's not possible uh, to tie that this fly very easily now as you can see I left like almost none no room for legs and everything and this is on purpose so now I'm going to spin this thread like uh, as much as I can to get this nice round shape don't catch the the hook point and in even turns just wrap it around so as I said this is traditional fly it's called Kreitza uh, J-wing fly but I'm not going to use J-wing here uh, mostly because I prefer CDC wings here and this is dry fly and J-wing fly is traditionally wet fly but uh, as dry fly fishing is more and more popular people are just using this more often so it's very like it's imperative that you use thin thread because you're not leaving too much room for anything here and you're using just a couple of wraps for, for everything like a uh, couple of wraps to secure wings a couple of wraps of uh, legs and everything you will see now let me show you how to use this super glue first and then we're going to, to go with next steps uh, the reason why I'm using like this much contrasting colors like cream and dark red is because when I put some super glue on it it's going to darken the, the those ribs as you can see now close your th uh, close your super glue and just use your needle to spread everything around nice and neat and when you ensure you did well just collect all the excess with your needle and create those bumpy ribs which look very very nice on, on this fly if you ask me so as you can see those ribs are showing off like bumps and when it gets dry you will see now it's super durable and almost probably indestructible I mean I never had this fly undone when it comes to body and honestly I don't remember I have it undone had it undone anyway so as you can see it's hard body 
Now I'm using rather thin 10-0 thread and catch it by the eye, couple of reps, make sure it's secured, that's it, don't need more. Now, I like to use Grizzly Hackle because it matches everything else perfectly. So, I'll catch Grizzly Hackle here, couple of reps again, as you can see, it's secured, I like to break it here. And now it's time for CDC, I'm using smaller CDC feathers aligned by the tips. Uh, the reason behind it is uh, the stem of those small CDC feathers is, is super thin and it's not going to create bulk because we don't have enough room here. And that's the whole point to prevent building up materials at the front part. So just align those tips. I'm using two tips, but like it's okay to use one as well, or to use J Wing. Also, is okay. So, when you're sure that you're doing well, cut the rest. Okay. to make transition here so my feather doesn't slip. Now, very important part, lift those wings up and with one, maybe two turns behind and same amount in front, just uh, position those wings up. So two behind as you can see and now let's see, one, this is one, and this is two in front. Position this wing up. Secure it with your thread. And now we've finished the fly. And as you can see, it's like something that I don't tie very often. I usually like no hackle flies, but this is amazing fly. It works really, really well. It's not. Uh, it's not one of the favorite flies for nothing for those people they know why this fly works and it's like very very good fly universal fly you can use it on any river in the world I think where you have mayflies and this is it finished fly uh, very nice very useful very durable uh, if the fish is refusing this fly you can always take scissors, cigarette butt end and just cut those down legs, like lower legs so the, the, the fly will sit in the water film a little bit lower. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much and see you next week.